Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to another Loot From video. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new zombie pirates that have been added to the wilderness that are located over by the Chaos Druids. Now if you're not familiar where that is, here is Ferox Enclave and if you come just east or yeah, just east of there, you've then got the Chaos Temple and uh, that is where they're located. Now, there has been a new exit and or entrance, however way you want to look at it, added to the Chaos Temple as well. Before, it was just this one in and out that you could go through through the mouth of like kind of where the uh, the lava stops. Uh, but now they've added this little bridge over the bottom, which uh, is actually rather nice. Um, gives you a uh, one way, uh, more than you know, one way in and out, uh, which means you, you've got another option for escaping if PKs do show up. Uh, but it also means PKs have another way to come in and try and get you. So uh, bear that in mind. Now, this area is all multi as well. So, um, yeah, you're going to have chaos uh, chaos druids or elder chaos druids attacking you uh, with magic attacks. So you want to pray magic while you're there. And then you've got the pirates themselves. And uh, you can get ganged up by quite a lot of them at once, which they don't hit very hard. I mean, if you're praying mage, you're praying against most of the damage. Uh, and their melee attacks aren't very beefy at all. Um, you've just got to keep an eye out for PKs because they can come in and try and stack you out, um, especially if you're AFK in here because it is pretty, pretty AFK and you can take a cannon and all that fun stuff. Gear setup-wise, really, really basic because we're going to be picking up loads of random stuff like rune items and uh, uh, belighted supplies and runes and stuff like that. Uh, I've just got a zombie axe, which does work very, very well. I mean, it's like fighting fire with fire, or in this case, zombie against zombie. Uh, and I've just got Barrow's gloves as well. Now, you could bring, you know, a, a Fury or a Glory as well, and some uh, Black Dehyde. And like I said, you could bring a Cannon too to speed up your kills per hour. Uh, but that, you know, is at your own risk um, uh, on that. And you could bring like a Nezzy Helm as well, which is pretty cheap to replace. Um also, you could bring a looting bag. Um, I don't think I've actually got one at the moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I've been doing a lot of worldy content recently. I have uh, might have lost it. But uh, yeah, you could bring a, a looting bag as well. And obviously, you'd fill up your inventory with food. I normally just take grand ones uh, because I've got a metric shitload of them. Uh, but yeah. Don't worry about prayer pots. There is an altar there that I will show you later on in the video that you can charge a prayer up on, which is really nice. So you haven't got to bring any actual you know expensive supplies just a bit of food and maybe some uh, uh anti pk stuff like maybe some brews and restores if you really want to go ham uh, that is entirely up to you but anyway that's enough of me yapping let's uh head on over and um go and get some kills under our belt really really simple come out the uh, east side of ferox enclave run across the bridge here and, uh, yeah, we're literally just going to follow over to where the Burning Amulet teleport is, which again, well, not again, which you can, you know, bring a, a Burning Amulet to teleport straight here, but that is entirely up to you. It's not a very far run and saves yourself an inventory slot. Oh, there is a pk -er. But, uh, yeah, that is the entrance there. You just run in and uh, <laughs> enter the temple. But, you know, I'm going <laughs> to avoid that avoid that guy like the plague. Right, we've killed 100 of... Oh, sorry, not 100. 91 of these uh, zombie pirates so far. And uh, I'll tell you what, the loot isn't actually too shabby. Uh, we're up to... Uh, let me do these. Uh, 435k from 92 of them. And the 93rd... It's just some bones. It doesn't add to anything. Uh, but the fact that they drop blighted super stores but noted is actually really, really nice because as someone who's going to be doing or is in the middle of doing uh, a lot of the wieldy bosses, bosses grinds to try and get a Void Waker, uh, taking blighted supplies rather than actual useful stuff that you can use outside of the wilderness uh, is worth its weight in gold. So I'll just hit it by, by a telly block by one of these Chaos Druids. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I'm going to try and kill a fair amount of these to see, you know, how does the loot stack up? Can we get, um, I believe there's a new teleport scroll or some sort of scroll, teleport anchoring scroll, which is formerly known as the blip blop scroll, um, for which we, uh, I'm reading the blog post, and for which we express our sincerest apologies. Um, it's a one-time consumable item which will uh, makes you impervious to the rage-inducing teleport attacks from Elder Druids. Um, and also Abyssal Demons as well. Now, I wonder if that is going to be just in the wilderness, 
Um, or if you're doing you know, Abby Demons in, say, Karen, for example, uh, are you going to uh, be able to get the um, same effects? Be interesting to see that when the uh, uh, wiki page comes out for the new scroll. Um, yeah, but for now, going to spend some time here, see how much all of these uh, kills are going to uh, kind of stack up to value-wise. Obviously, it's rather busy here at the moment because the update dropped relatively recently <laughs> I'm recording this on the day of it, of, uh, of it coming out so um yeah stay tuned i'll be checking in uh very very shortly with a money in the bank ladder match update right we are just over the 100 mark of these now and uh we're on a flat 500k which you know it's nothing to be sneezed at uh setup wise you could do what this chap here is doing with a blowpipe and like full dehyde just though you are in the wilderness, we are risking you know some of that setup, uh, and also you got someone over here with a cannon as well, going brr, trying to get more kills per hour. Again, you could bring a cannon, you could bring all of that shit, but yeah, just your good old zombie axe for slaying some undead. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, my uh, setup is incredibly basic, just because I wanted to come out here and test them out, really. Um, see what all the fuss is about. See what all the uh, hype is about and um yeah i mean it's not a bad little money maker uh, and if you are waiting for a spawn of um of some undeads or some zombie pirates or oh, nice ancient sacks uh, if you are waiting for some uh zombie pirates to spawn um just start whacking some of these elder chaos druids because they actually have the um the robe set that you can get the unique which you know is quite nice it's nice if you're a collection logger like myself Oh, look at that, some super restores. Get it up, lads. Uh, and they also drop quite a lot of herbs as well. Um, I thought these zombie pirates were, were going to be dropping herbs too, but um doesn't look like they are, which is uh, a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah. What is nice, though, is that um, at this spot, you've got the uh, altar over here, so you can be praying against all of these chaos druids and um, their witchcraft. <laughs> Uh, you can pray against it and then just top up your prayer. You haven't got to bring any prayer pots or anything like that. And you just chill, chill and kill. Um, that guy there just said that he got, uh, in 25 kills, he's on 200k to give you an idea. Oh, someone coming here to PK. I don't know if that guy just got throat. Oh, yeah, someone's here. Hold on, is that? Oh, I'm going to DM him. I think <laughs> I think that's artistic imp. Actually, like the, he, he done some uh, graphics for me. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, we're up to... Um, this will be 120, this kill here. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty good. Another rune sword, a lot of rune items. I mean, you could bring Alks with you if you really want to. Um, or you could bring a looting bag as well. Uh, so you can, you know, hoard up more crap from, uh, <laughs> from these uh, zombies while you're... Uh, while you're grinding them, which, uh, you know, is never a bad thing, is it? But, um, yeah, oh, someone's got both of there. Uh, that'd be a juicy PK if someone managed to scull them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're up to just shy of 600k now. And there's some more blighted crampons. Nice. Oh, we just got a zombie pirate key. I don't know what the hell that is, but um, we got one of them. So, uh, yeah, we're going to turn it, turn it in, and uh, I'm going to quickly go and bank, though, because there are some PKs knocking about here. Um, but uh, cash-wise, we're up to 632k, um, but we'll get this kill. <laughs> all right, let's go and see what this key is all about, shall we? It looks like we have to go over to this ship over here, so, yeah, wish me luck that I don't get PK'd. Hey -hey. All right, let's uh, oh, check the zombie pirate man. Is this to check if anyone's in there? What brings you here? Oh, I don't care. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> open pirate's locker. <clears throat> I thought there was a door with a key and all that shit. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic, isn't it? 128 mine runes. Yikes. Uh-oh, it's PK time. Man, why is he coming here with a ballista for, man? Chill, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> right, I reckon we can get out of this. Or not. Oh, fuck me. 
Ugh. Run. 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 Yeah, see you later. <laughs> but anyway, I've logged back in. We're all in the clear and our telly block has been cleared. If you log out when you're telly blocked uh, and you log back in, your uh, your telly block goes, by the way. And also you can't get into Ferox Enclave if you're telly blocked. So a little bit of information for you that I've learned while plodding about the wilderness these days. Uh, loot wise, we are up to uh, 173 KC and 762 K that we've got from that. And if you're interested as well, Elder Chaos Druids killed seven of them, 25k, or 24.5 if you want to get pedantic. Um, yeah, some really good stuff here with um, sort of resource-wise. Uh, it's always, if you're going to start grinding wilderness bosses or you're even considering it, it's really nice to have the uh, blighted food and uh, pots. Um, these ancient ice sacks are actually really good as well. I used to always just drop them, but um, yeah, they're, they're really good for if you're counter pking um or if you're doing rto for example uh having the uh the, the ice spells in a sack rather than you know in, in a rune pouch that you're risking or taking runes with you it's just really really nice to have it condensed into one inventory slot but anyway 173kc we've had one key and uh it's pretty shit if you are interested about xp rates as well obviously these have probably dropped a little bit where um i've been running around and checking out that zombie key uh but uh here you go it's about let's say about 40k xp an hour in attack and probably around 14k in hit points an hour which you know it's not amazing but it's not you know not bad i mean it's not like you're getting three xp an hour the uh the kills are pretty quick They've not got much hit points, so you can kind of uh, fly through them, which um, isn't too bad. Right, we're back, and uh, I've got my looting bag with me this time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll tell you what, these are pretty chill. I mean, yeah, there's PKs knocking about every now and then, but if I wanted to, I could just whack on, auto-retaliate, recline back in my chair, I'm not risking anything, and... Uh, have a grand old time. Just saw this guy. He's got a salvami on. That's a very good shout as well. The um, not the fully imbued one. Just the you know the one that you'd normally take into the wilderness to say against Calvarium. Um, yeah, they're really easy to come by, and you can stock them up pretty easily. Just pop to the mine for ten minutes, mine a load, make them into a uh, Amis and Bob's your aunt. Well, Fanny's your aunt. You've got yourself a. Uh, Bit more damage against undead things. Anyway, I need to recharge my prayer. And just to check in as well. Oh, another pirate key. Very nice. Let's go and use that while we're alive. Um, just done t well, 200th kill. And uh, we're just shy. Well, we're just over the 900k mark. But um, getting closer and closer to that one mil. Right, surely it can't get worse than those mind runes. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's gone in my looting bag. No. Right, don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> No sudden movements. <laughs> that is a whole lot of PKs. All right, take two. <laughs> Anything? Oh, cannonballs. All right, fair enough. Oh, it's going straight in our looting bag as well. But anyway, better than bloody mind runes. And uh, now is our time to bolt. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Someone's hit me with a, I think, a void. Oh, no, a BG. Oh, okay, we're dead. <laughs> oh, well, didn't really lose much. How much was that worth? Uh, nothing. Chump change, 119k. Uh, but we're up to 220kc now and just over the mill mark. Hey. And I think that is going to wrap the video. So we did Zombie Pirates for, I think, maybe about an hour. Maybe just a little bit over an hour. Uh, and we got 220 kills, which, as you've seen, is just over a million. Uh, which, once you sell these adamant seeds... I mean, you can't see my cursor. Uh, <laughs> once I sell these adamant seeds, I think they're going for maybe like 10k each or... Oh, 10k or a k or something like that um so there's a little bit more money there these pirate keys are going for about 100k each as well but we've seen the loot is not the best but hey our rng might not have been there on those uh but yeah if you guys have found the video enjoyable and you're new around here please do consider subscribing drop a like and let me know down below any loot from videos you'd like to see on the channel i do have another one planned for next week which will be the uh Zalcano one that i did uh, that will be 10 hours at that uh, lovely, lovely place. So um, look forward to that. And uh, yeah, bye for now.